clean. You said after the game on Tuesday that at that point you'd have taken any win. Were you pleased it came from a good performance? It was a similar story tonight. How pleased are you with the way the team responded to this change in tactics to get these two wins on the bounce? Yeah, look, as I said on Tuesday night, um, we, I don't think we kept the ball as well as we have. And when we've lost the, the points this season on Tuesday night, tonight I thought first half, um, today sorry, I thought we first first half we played great football. We moved it, we knew where we looked at trying to hurt them. The lads took it all on board, uh, worked on it yesterday and took it all on board. And I, I think first half we scored, obviously we scored two great goals. And a slight change in formation with Paul Ruffer being a bit more advanced. What was the thinking behind that? Just looking at the opposition and seeing how we can um, their threats, um, see what their threats are about. It's pretty evident what their threats are. Um, but it was also to point our game, game plan onto them and where we see their, their vulnerability. And as I said, I thought first half it worked to a T. Second half we got put under immense pressure. Um, they're a big, strong physical team. Um, the recurring pattern is of their play is it's coming into your box and you got to defend from it so we couldn't really get a foothold into it and make passes we had one chance um, on a good break second half, second half. go 3-0 up it makes life a little bit easier 2-0 in football a, it's a strange it's a strange score because the next goal is massive we spoke about it half time um, but we said the minimum we'll come back in second half is, is that clean sheet and to be fair to the players to a man the amount of ball that got put into our 18 yard box if it wasn't the first one we didn't win we won the second one and that was a big part of today's game, the second phase and the players were outstanding. And first half, spoken about the two goals, what were your view then, two really good finishes? Yeah, two great finishes, um, but two good work patterns that we spoke about with players. And as I said, look, it's uh, it's been relentless for the last few weeks. Um, it's game, 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 there ain't been a lot of time to train, so it's, it's been light sessions. And just getting as much as we can, information-wise, tactic boards and other things, um, coaching devices that we use with the players, and to show them what we're going to do. And as I said, first half it worked to take. Second half, you give Solly all credit; they put you under pressure, and they did today. And um, but to a man, our players are outstanding. I don't think Rob actually had a save to make other than um, a few balls going into the box, a couple of crosses, obviously long throws coming in. He come out there and done his side of, side of the job on that. And that's John Tuesday. Of the players that answered their critics. Today, have they taken it a step further now? Look, there's going to be critics because the size, the size of us as a football club and the expectation that comes with a football club within the town, it's, uh, as I said the other night, the, the town is, uh, sorry, the football club is massive for the town. If we're doing well, everybody feels good. And um, it's nice to send uh, the public at Wrexham home today with a smile on their face. Look, it's um, two ins and a bounce. It's positive, it's going forward, it's a building block. I'm a little bit disappointed that we've got an FA Trophy next week. Yeah, I am slightly, if I'm not going to lie. But look, if we can see it now, we've got a full week. It's a time chance for me to shut the players down a little bit, give them a bit of a rest. As I said, it's been relentless for them the last few weeks and there's been a nucleus. It's been the same team, so it gives a chance just to recharge batteries and next weekend gives an opportunity for some of the players who's just been on the outside waiting for that chance. And uh, we'll look at it next week. I was going to ask you that. What's the mindset now going into that game? I just said to the players in there, look, whoever goes out and represents a football club next week has to win a football match. It's a football match. Cup, competition, league, or whatever, it's a football match, we have to come and win it. We've won two on the bounce, the lads have done the job the last two games, we have to go and get three. You get three wins on the bounce, you're going forward, you're already starting a good positive run. So we have to go and get a victory next week. And obviously you've got that busy period <coughs> coming up afterwards. I guess momentum at this time of the season is almost more important. Yeah, look, it's, as I said, it's, uh, it's something we're accustomed to, playing Saturday, Tuesday, it's going to be tight, it's our oh, Christmas period it is. It ain't great for football players, but you, you, it's part and parcel of the job. Okay, and uh, they'll go out there over the next few games and they'll be good, make sure they'll be giving everything for the football club as they've done the last two games. Brilliant, thanks Dean. Uh, Dean, what a difference a week makes. Uh, is that the best win, best performance since